Hello, <laughs> welcome back. Uh, my name is Yenny Parlin, and I am continuing Power Wash Simulator. Um, so I have to be honest, I might have a problem. Because the last time I played, uh, at least for you guys, um, I kind of just started. And it was kind of my first exposure. I did like the first couple of jobs and then I was done. Um, so this is the free play, so that should show you all the ones that I have finished. <laughs> I'm not addicted. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, how many? Okay, so that's six of those guys. Yeah, I've. <sighs> it's helping me cope with being tired and mothering a toddler and so a lot of times when he naps I, I come and I play <laughs> I tell my husband I have to go zen and um that this is what zenning looks like so but I saw oh wait no that's the back of the free play career mode um Clean the Forest Cottage, and I, I wanted to record this one in particular because it's just, it's just great. So first of all, H and G Hexenjaeger is how that would be pronounced, or something akin to that. For sure the J would be the Y uh, Hexenjaeger. Um, there's nothing, there's nothing sus about this at all. At all. Uh, we are two humble confectioners, brother and sister, are you now, living on our own deep in the woods of the National Park, and there's absolutely nothing strange about that. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I'm sure. We are also the creators of the finest gingerbread ever to grace the county. But to stay on top, we need constant reinvention, and our dream forest home has become a grubby grotto, affecting our ability to dream up wonderful new recipes. Can you come and restore our cottage and create it with, and, and with our creative flow? <laughs> and then the Dunka. Um, so I have several questions. First of all, how did they get this cottage? Um... And did it involve killing a cannibalistic witch? That's my question. Um, because this seems to very much ring with um, strong murdering of a cannibalistic witch vibes. You know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I came to that conclusion. Oh, there are sounds. There are background noises. And you guys probably can't see this, but my cat is um, licking the condensation off the side of my bottle. So, <laughs> that's fun. Huh, Ari. Okay, see, she's. That's her tail. Hi, right, cat. I'm going to have to put it over there. Because she's going to beginning all of my business okay so let's see what all okay do i have to... oh i have to clean the stone wall too oh <gasps> what wait <gasps> excuse me what <laughs> Um, this is, oops, there are sounds in this forest. I must bench press like crazy oh is this because I okay that 
that. That's like, that looks like witch blood to me. Okay, I'm just, oh, oops. I'm not um, pointing any fingers or saying any names, but um, yeah. But uh, this, this, so I bet this is because I can't stand on the roof because it's too steep of an incline, in which case this is amazing. I know it's natural for people to be suspicious, but we really are who we say we are. Sure. <laughs> sure you are. This is going to be a very slow, tedious process, isn't it? So in my playing of this game to um, Zen, as I've been calling it, um, I've, I've developed a, a little bit of a system. I usually like to start from the top and work my way down. It seems to be efficient this way. Um, look at that beautiful roof. What are you doing, cat? Okay. Uh... Is that really loud? Give me a second. Turn that down a touch. Okay. Um. I there we go. Um. Yeah, this is The amount of detail that they put into this game, though, really, it's, it's, it's really, really astounding. It's really well done. I was telling, I was showing a friend of mine this game, and they were like, this is, like, the sound design on this game in particular is really nice. Um, my husband is a bit of an audiophile, so things, like, I've, I've, I've kind of picked up things by osmosis from him, and things like sound design are, are one of those things that I have picked up through osmosis. Um, here we go. Um, so, oops. Um, I don't know, I just really pay attention to that way more now. And just like the sound difference between that and that just is really, really cool. And that like, like that and that sound different is just a really, really neat touch. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's anything else I want to gush about for a second, but I do gotta say, this is awesome. <laughs> that I can lift an entire freaking scaffold. <laughs> oh, this is rad. I have to admit, I did not see this coming. The the scaffold, I I quite 
I quite like this. This is a great time. Man, they really went out of their way to make this place sound like a creepy forest. <laughs> Just all of these odd animal sounds. I'm like, oh no, there's a bear. It's going to kill me. Oh yeah, I need to talk. <laughs> Kids, if you ever wanted to know what your parents did while you slept, this. Or, like, obviously not this, precisely, because it's a newer game. But, um... They zen. They just chilled out. Did something mindless. Just to recuperate. Because I don't know if anyone told you, kids. But parenting is exhausting. And it's great. It's so fulfilling. It's wonderful. It's so exhausting. <laughs> ah. It is thoroughly, thoroughly and utterly exhausting. Um, and you know like we need we need breaks we need to take care of ourselves we need like yeah like actual self-care like make sure that we're eating well and you know so if you guys have like parent like if your parents or you uh you have friends who are parents like oh the plot thickens we moved here just a week after that bank robbery, but people move house all the time. <laughs> um. Okay, so maybe they're not actually Hansel and Gretel. Maybe they're like wannabes. Oh my gosh, that that was hilarious. Um, but anyway, so yeah, if you, um, if you have friends who are parents, like, like, they're not okay. Like, they're probably doing okay, like, they're kind of okay, but like, they're exhausted and they need breaks and like, need time away from the kid, you know? Cause like, yes, of course we love our babies and it's so great and it's so fulfilling but like like there's only so much that you can handle you know so just like take good care of yourselves if you have a friend with kids go 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 show them some love 
you know, even if it's just something as simple as like come over and hang for a day or f for a few hours so that, you know, your friend can just zone out on their phone or like, you know, and like, you know, it going taking watching the kids or whatever so that the mom can go grocery shopping is not taking a break um it's nice to go grocery shopping without kids let me tell you what but under no circumstances would i ever consider that a break because going grocery shopping is a chore and it's nice to be able to do it without kids but it, that that's not a break. And so if you're like, but I like watch the kids while they went to the grocery store. That's nice, but don't give yourself a medal for it, you know, because that's like, that's basic. That's basic. And that's not a break for your, it's not a break for your parent friend and parents, parent, my parent friends, fellow parents, if any of you are watching this or who are parents like you know like that's not self-care that's not what you need you need you need a spa day you need to go get your hair did you need to you know go go give yourself some love you know go and you know if you need to go take a nap you know but just take care of your parent friends Take care of your parent friends. That's all I can say. Uh, okay. I guess I'll finish this wall and then I'll go work over there. You know, if this house wasn't possibly owned by bank robbers or cannibal witch murderers, um, I would say it's charming. This is, this, it's, it's cute. Like if I were to actually see a house like this, I would be like, I want it. Or at the very least, I want to stay in it, you know, cause it's super cute. And I love this kind of vibe. Um, my husband and I actually stayed in a little cottage like this, uh, when we went to Scotland, um, we found a little, Airbnb VRBO place in Scotland super last minute it was really fun we were in we were in Scotland and we were in Glasgow and you know we had planned to do Glasgow then do um Edinburgh for the rest of our trip but after a few days in Glasgow we were like you know what we're kind of tired of this whole city thing we we want to go see the Scottish Highlands man um and so we um canceled our a fair chunk of our Edinburgh trip and we found this little darling VRBO um this little darling cottage in in a little town little tiny town in in scotland um and it was actually physically probably a little bit smaller than this place um it slept for hilarious hilariously enough but um it was small it was tiny um but it was so great um, but yeah, this, the, it kind of, it kind of had that whimsical, fantastical, about to fall over kind of feel. Um, and I was squealing. I literally did a video of, um, you know, sh to, to send to my family, just screaming and doing like a little show off of this little place. Um, and it was old. It was an old little cottage. The key was like the skeleton key. Um, and yeah, the key was like the skeleton key. So super old. And uh, 
It was just so great. And this honestly kind of reminds me, it wasn't in the woods. It was, you know, kind of in the, if you could call it the suburbs of this town. This town was so small. Um, it was, no, stop it. I keep pushing the wrong button because I'm so bad at buttons. Um, you know, you could walk around the entire town in the space of less than an hour. Um, probably closer to half an hour, you could circumnavigate this entire town um, in Scotland. And so we were just right outside the city center, if you want to call it the city center, um, uh, in kind of the suburb neighborhood area. And it was magical. It was so magical. And... Yeah, we just, we went to Scotland and England and we ate so much food. And it was, was the time when, so we ended up going because I had checked the tickets. I had, I had just checked for kicks and giggles. Um, and the ticket prices were like 600 bucks a pop from LAX to London and I was like, um, okay, <laughs> sign me up. We, I was like, honey, we're going, we're going, we're going to England. We're going to England. We're going to Scotland. You're welcome. Um, I don't think my husband had ever been really out of the country at that point. He had to, I think he had to apply for a passport. He had to get a passport, um, and it, it was just, it was just a lovely time. Why? Okay, that's done. This isn't, that's not done either. Okay. Um, this one's hard. This one's hard to clean. Um, but yeah, Scotland, love Scotland. Um, my husband is, you know, he's not from Scotland, but he's, he's Scottish by, by heritage. Um, I'm English by heritage, but you know, it's not quite as like, doesn't have the same oomph to say like, I'm English than it does to say I'm Scottish. It's like, mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Scotland's uh, Scotland's a pretty rad place. Um, we we are dying to go back um, one day. Oh no, I fail. I fail. I don't know why I said it like that. I'm tired. Oh no, you never want to see pink at the top of a chimney. That just... I have so many questions. Is it supposed to be frosting? Is that is that what they're touting this to be? Is, is frosting? Oh. I don't like it. <laughs> No, no, okay. Ha 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 ha. I will stand on this chimney. I will power wash the heck out of this mess. Okay, 
No. I can walk. There we go. Oh, <laughs> creepy sounds. Okay. Um. Yeah, I am, um, I'm easily spooked. Fun fact. Things that you should know about me while you watch my videos. Um. This is why I can never, ever play horror games. Not only because I just don't like horror, um, but I am such a wuss. I would never, I would never be able to get through a horror game. I might be able to get through the first, like, couple minutes. But after that, I'd be like, oh no, crud. Okay. But after those first couple minutes, I... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I I would not be able to do it, because I am a wuss. I hate horror as a genre in general. I hate it. Um, so it's like even hearing sounds in this super relaxing game, I'm like, oh no, it's gonna suddenly turn into a horror. And I'm gonna, like, uh... No, I know that's absurd. I know it's absurd. But that's just how much of a wuss I am. See, like, like yeah, I'm a wuss, but I'm also like, I know my boundaries and I know what I can and cannot handle. And I know I can't handle horror. So, horror is just one of those things that I don't touch. And I'm not ashamed of that. I don't know why I said that with a question mark. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not ashamed of knowing my limits and knowing that I can't I can't handle horror I just I can't do it I can't do it and I hate it I don't know why people like it um I do not find it find it a compelling medium for entertainment at all You might say I bear a slight resemblance to Floozy McGee, but she was much younger than I am now and such a happy soul. Are you saying she was a happy soul or you are a happy soul? Also, Floozy McGee. So are you calling yourself a Floozy? Is that what that was? Are you are you calling yourself out, Gretel? So I went to once an opera at our local city opera house and um it was it was Hansel and Gretel and it was awesome um the way that they did the witch for this opera was fascinating she there was it was a guy a guy saying is the witch um it was a low part anyways cuz you know the witch is supposed to be like an old woman so the deeper voice made sense. Um, you know, the guy was a tenor, but um, they, it was like this really extravagant puppet. And the guy was like in the puppet and it was like built around him. Um, and oh my gosh, it was so cool. I was so impressed. Um, 
because they had to make it big because the Hansel and Gretel are our children. Um, so, but they're, but they're played by, you know, a man and a woman because it's opera and, um, you know, adult, adult voices do that kind of opera, not children. So it's, you know, they're played by adults. So they had to make kind of everything else look bigger. Um, so like all of the props were a little bit bigger. Um, yeah, all of the props were a little bit bigger. Um, a lot of the sets were bigger and like the mother and father characters had to wear stilts um, or platforms to make themselves look way bigger than um, than, ha than Hansel and Gretel and um, and the witch was this was this puppet thing um, and it just looked so cool it was really really cool um, the the design for the witch's cottage was super cool too um, It literally just looked like, um, like candy and like ice cream and stuff just like piled all on top of each other. It was so cool looking. Um, you know, but you know, the, the, the witch wants to eat them super nasty um, but they outsmart her and they figure out her game that she's gonna eat them so they they trick her and they throw her into her own gingerbread furnace uh, fairy tales are metal just just gonna say that um, They are, they are metal, they are grim, and dark, and it's kind of, I mean, like, they're, they're meant to be, in a lot of ways, like, morality stories, um, and, like, you know, cautionary tales, so, like, you know, don't wander out, don't run away from home, don't, like, make sure you listen to your parents. Um, uh, because if you don't, you're going to get eaten by a witch. Um, but you know, that's like what, um, it's kind of like what Little Red Riding Hood is, you know. She ventures away from the path. She ventures into the woods and she's not really supposed to. And she encounters something that's going to hurt her. And, you know, as a... Come back. No, stop it. Thank you. Um... Do I have to get inside the chimney? You know? Um, but anyways, yeah. So, like, these, a lot of these tales are, you know, words of warning to especially children. You know, of don't venture into the woods because, you know, especially, like, still today. Um, but, like, who oh, no. knew? But, like, especially in ye olden days, you know, the, the wild was wild. And you had to be so careful. Um, and you still have to be careful. Like, you know, you should never 
go out into into nature in that kind of situation by yourself and they created these stories like Hansel and Gretel um, and Little Red Riding Hood to you know teach oops teach children you know the woods and venturing away from society from culture especially like society civilization oops um you know that's that's where the wolves are um that's where you're gonna get hurt and where you're gonna get lost and we don't want that to happen to you so you know they're these grim dark stories to to basically just teach you not to not to mess with forces that you don't understand especially as a child um oversimplistic absolutely definitely way oversimplistic oh my god i keep hitting the wrong button um you know but not that I would, you know, tell, like, would never tell my son, like, don't go, don't go over there, you're gonna get bewitched. You know, witch is gonna eat you. Oh, no, like, that's not, you know, realistic, but, like, there is some, like, fear was their tactic to keep what what they loved and what they wanted to protect safe you know and there's nothing more vulnerable and innocent and worthy of pro and deserving of protection than a child they are so innocent and they need to be protected yo um So yeah, that's my hot take on Hansel and Gretel. I'm sure it's a hot take that y'all all needed to hear. But yeah, especially in, you know, medieval and Victorian type literature, the theme of civilization versus nature is super it's super common because it was relevant to them oh my gosh what is wrong with me um um you know they had to they had to keep their people safe and you know in a in a more um, agrarian or um, whatever culture, society that is civilization that is very dependent on nature. Nature gets really scary really fast. Um, And so, you know, they create these stories to to keep to keep people safe. Yes. You know, but on the off switch, on the off side, that's how you get things like more more industrial more industrialization because if you're taught that people good nature bad then you are way more likely to just eh, chop the trees down and that's not good either because we kind of need the trees and um you know i don't think you know, at the beginning of the industrial age that they necessarily knew that <laughs> that we need plants, we need nature, otherwise we literally don't get enough oxygen to breathe on this planet. Um, we kind of need that to survive on this planet. Um, so it's just, it's just really, really interesting 
how culture shapes literature and literature shapes culture. Even just something as simple as nature versus civil nature versus civilization. You know? And then you have people like Tolkien who literally just created an entire race of trees and had them fighting back against the industrial overlord. It's not subtle. <laughs> it's not subtle at all. Uh, Tolkien would be so proud of the plant the trees movement because he, I mean, I, have, I had a college professor who loves and I say love because he's still around loves trees he literally would write and say entire sermons just on like trees and on how we should be like trees and <laughs> it is he he's great he's great and what's really really funny about this professor is I met him several times like, I never, I had an online class with him, but I never, I never had anything beyond that. And I'm, I'm really sad about that. Um, because he was great. He was a wonderful professor. Um, but he, uh, part of, you know, because I never had an actual class with him. He never remembered me. So I would, I introduced myself to him, like, I swear, like, five times. And I remember, like, being at a lunch table with him and a couple of my friends. And, like, he knew them because he had had classes. He had taught them. Um, but he never had, a, I never had a class with him. But I knew him because, like, everyone knew this professor. Um, and... He was like saying his hellos to everybody, and I swear this. I think this was like the fifth time that I met him, um, and he just looks me dead in the face and says, "And who are you?" And I was like, "Ah, yeah, Professor Blackburn. It's it's me." Um, and I'm like I we've met several times, and he was like, "Oh, I don't remember you." And I'm like, "I can tell." <laughs> like okay. Um, and he really, really liked my husband, uh, cause my husband's a thoughtful type. And so he really, he really liked my husband. Um, I think my husband introduced me to him a couple times too, but he just never, he just never remembered me. Um, and it was hilarious. And just like every time I met him, I'm like, yeah, I know you. Um, we've met, we've talked. You don't remember me. He was cool. He looked like a garden gnome. He had like a full, wonderful, like Gandalf, Dumbledore type beard. Um, it was majestic. He taught philosophy and world religions and stuff like that and he was great because he would teach a world religion by basically pretending to be a part of that religion and him trying he would basically to teach you about this religion he would pretend that he was trying to convert you um, and he was so good at it so mind you I went to a Christian college um, he was so good at it that students would go to the dean and be like, is Professor Blackburn a Christian? And they would just, like, every single year, they would get, like, these panicked freshmen being like, I don't think this professor's a Christian. And they had to be like, yes, yes, he is. And it was hilarious. Um, it was so funny. Um, 
because they'd be like, he's trying to convert me to Buddhism. And they're like, oh my gosh. People. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> it was, it was a good time. It was hilarious. Oh dear. Do I need to move those guys? That's basically where I was before, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I probably need to move these guys. Move you over here. And I will move you over. Oh! <gasps> oh no! <gasps> What's under the. Is that chocolate? Oh, there's a hand. Oh my god, this is like a murder scene. <laughs> oh, what's in the blue underneath the- Oh my god, this is terrifying. Oh no, is that a missing person sign? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love this game. It's such a trip. Oh, will I be able to get around? Yes, okay. Um, anyways, so yeah, um, Ugh. anyways, college is, college is a trip, man. Hansel looks nothing like... Okay, so his name is Hansel. Oh my gosh. Hansel has a huge beard, long unruly hair, and defeated eyes. Okay. Rocky was young, clean-shaven, handsome, with such spirit. Okay, so... Why are you telling me this? About you and your brother? Like... That like you're not hotties and you're not like happy anymore. I don't like. I'm sorry you're not happy, but like I'm just I'm just washing your house, man. I'm just wash wash. <laughs> I'm just washing your sketchy house in the woods. I don't I don't know what you want from me. I'm gonna go down a level. Beer and gummy bears. What a way to end the night. I'm so glad that I am not at the age, or that my, my son is not at the age where he can eat candy. 
And he doesn't even he doesn't even know that candy's a thing yet. He can't eat candy, you know. He's too young for it. But all that means for me right now is more for me and I don't have to share. If I'm honest, I'll probably never share my gummy bears. Like, my son can have his own gummy bears and then I have my gummy bears and they are mine. They are my special gummy bears from Sprouts because they have the 12 flavor kind and they are so good. They are so soft and chewy. They are, they are decadent and they have so many flavors and the texture is just perfect. So... Um, I'm not gonna share that with a little baby or even a toddler or even a five-year-old because they won't be able to appreciate it and uh, why would I I mean like I might give them a few bites because I'm not a monster but like these are my gummy bears <laughs> Standing precariously at the edge. Come on, don't be like this. What? <sighs> Why? Do we need a Okay. <sighs> Hello there. <laughs> um, so... I'm not sure if you noticed, um, but um, some things are a bit different from uh, when we last encountered each other, which for you has been no time at all. And for me, it's been quite a bit of time. Um, I don't even remember what I was talking about. Um, all I know is that I uh, all of a sudden checked my um, recording situation and it had stopped recording. And so lost a little, little bit of video. Um, not like a ton, a ton, but you know, lo lost a little bit. And in the meantime of, you know, figuring all this stuff, we um, figured out a new camera. I got a haircut. Um, kind of readjusted our angles and stuff, and yeah, so, um, you know, for you guys, it's been no time at all, and for me, it's been, like, two weeks? <laughs> Oops. 
Um, so, um, I do remember one thing, and that is, I'm trying to know if we got to this point. Did I uncover that? Um, I know the whole, the whole shtick with this, this whole shtick with this house is, uh, Hansel and Gretel are totally just innocent bakers, you guys. Um, we would never rob a bank. <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, well, I, I don't know about you, but this, this looks like a confession to me. Um. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I've been getting little um, messages. Hold on. What, what I... Yeah, the last one. Uh, Rocky would never run away from the law and hide out in a dang cottage for years claiming to be a baker unless he was completely desperate. It... I think they're trying too hard. I, I really, really think they're trying too hard. Okay, so I'm just going to put my head down and record as much as possible and if something new happens then I'll start talking so then we can just do a nice little nice little speed through the scaffolding I just I just gotta say like I know I I remember I spent a sufficient amount of time just freaking out about the scaffolding and how great it is but it, it's really nice it's really nice Hit that, not me. <laughs> oh, oh, cat, what are you doing? Can you get out of the way? No? Okay. No, the... You want some time in the spotlight? Is that what this is? Yes, Kat, I love you. I think you're great. You can settle down now. <sighs> okay. Are we good? Focus? Good? Are we done? Okay. I think we're okay. Oh, Ari. What am I going to do with you, Kat? Do I have to erase this confession? Is erasing the... 
Is erasing this gonna like get me in some kind of trouble? Wait. Okay. <sighs> nope, I swear you guys, if this gets me in trouble. Okay. Um, let's see, what do I got? Okay, so the gates, post steps. So I'm still missing some timber frames. Ooh, on one of the window frames. Shoot, okay, we'll all get the fence. The cat's back. And <laughs> Hi, Ari. Yes, you're beautiful. Just get you in focus. Oh, you're so pretty. You're so pretty, Ari. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, you're gonna steal the show. <sighs> They're here to watch Power Wash, Power Wash Simulator. Okay. He's like, no, they're here to see see me. Okay, okay, well, let's 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 fix the focus. Bring it back. <laughs> Good stuff, man. Good stuff, cat. Is that a missing persons poster? Shoot, I can't zoom in. Oh well. <sighs> wouldn't uh, wouldn't be surprised considering what was uh, painted here on the wall. The confession of the bank robbery. Scoundrels. Almost done. Stone walls too? Which one did I miss?
There we go. Um, okay, a window frame. Not that, and then one of the timber frames. Ah. That one. Ah, and this one. Okay, and then window frame. I wonder if it's the one... Wait. Nope, almost done. Is it you? No, there's not one over here. Slide down. I did the Hansel and Gretel robbing bank house. Yay! It says thank you. The cottage look wonder wonderbar. It feels like it felt like a character has finally been removed. <laughs> okay, hold on. What? Oh, oh. Okay, let's let's do the time lapse, shall we? Ooh. Ah. Uh. Beautiful. Okay. It feels like a stain on our character has finally been removed. I bet. And we can get back to our two passion. Also, Into My Mind has already left the recipe for a magnificent new custard strudel. How about you share that? Because that sounds delicious. Okay, okay. Fire station, then yes, then the SUV. Alright, well, I want to just, just to make sure that I finish cleaning the house. I'm going to end this here. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, thank you for uh, being here. I don't know. How are you supposed to YouTube? I don't know. I don't know how you're supposed to do this. Um, anywho. I'll you later <laughs> finger cut